Hello friends, in last video we created a REST API using Ministack. In this video we are going to deploy the same REST API to Firebase hosting. You will be able to find entire source code into my GitHub repository. Links are included in the video description below. Traditionally, I have used Heroku or Google Cloud or Docker Container to host my Node.js REST API, but today I'm going to try Firebase for hosting. A lot of people think Google Firebase as a database, but I'm telling you Firebase is equally good to host your front-end and back-end API. All right, let's get it started. So first thing I'm going to do, head out to your VS Code. This is the REST API we created in last video. I'm going to rename this and save it as a backup. Next thing I want to do, I'm going to open my command prompt window and create a new folder called REST API. So mkdir, REST API, let me cd into that. Now what I need, I need a Firebase. So make sure that you have Firebase tools npm backend installed. So what you can do, npm install hyphen g, that means globally, Firebase hyphen tools. I already have this installed, so I'm not going to do that. And if you're on a Linux machine, please make sure that to include sudo in front of npm. All right. So assuming you already have the Firebase tools installed, next thing you want to do, Firebase init. What this is going to do is going to initiate a Firebase repository inside this folder. And here, I want two things, hosting and functions. All right, let me click OK use an existing project. If you do not have an existing project, go to uh, Firebase console and create a new project. I'm going to use an existing one, test TMP. And this time I'm going to use JavaScript, say yes. Choose all the default option. It's going to take a few seconds to complete the installation. Once it's completed, it will ask you, you want a public directory, index.html, just select default options. Now, go to, if you go to your REST API, you will see two different folders. One folder is a functions folder, other is a public folder, and then there's a Firebase config. So inside the publics, you have 404.html, index.html. We don't need this for this video, but just to let you know, it will be out there. And there, there are a couple of um, different files out there, the gitignore, Firebase, uh, package.json file here. Now, inside the function, you will see because I do not want node modules to include it into my uh, GitHub repository. So that's what you just say, whatever files you do not want to include in GitHub, just mention those inside your .gitignore. Now here, please pay attention to this file, firebase.json file, because this is the file we'll be making some changes to. First thing I will do inside the functions, there's a file called index.js. I'm going to uncomment everything and I do not like hello world, so I'm going to change it to uh, something called app. Now let's go to this, your REST API console and then Make sure that you are at the root directory and shoot a command called Firebase Emulator Start. What this is going to do is going to create a local Firebase instance in your machine. So as you can see, it's serving as the local as 5000. Make sure that this uh, runs uh, this execute to success. So here, as you can see, my Firebase's um, apps look good. Now let's start making changes one by one. You can always go through the Firebase documentation to see that and make sure to pay attention to how Firebase hosting is working. So for example, make a note of the project ID, what you have done. So for in my case, um, so localhost 5001, front slash project ID, US central one and app. Now you will be able to, this is the project by default, you know, when you were setting your Firebase, it asked for, okay, what project you want to use. This is the project ID it's using. So make sure, and you can always find it, um, in your Firebase RC file, all right? So I'm just going to, and that's what you use, because you know, the Firebase takes this project ID and appends it to your URL. And next string is your central, because right now Firebase hosting for Node.js is only applicable at, is only available at the US central, though that's what it is. And Big Ben here is actually the name of the function what you just created. In my case, it's called app. So my, Local URL is going to look like localhost 5001 followed by project ID, US central app, right? See, so now it means my this function is uh, working correctly. All right, so now let's start to make changes and deploy our localhost API, the localhost REST API what we created. I'm going to comment everything out there. Next thing what I'm going to do, let's go, go to our backup and uh, copy everything from the, you know, everything what we created in our REST API. 
for some reason it was not allowing me to copy entire thing so what i did i copied the folder but now i'm copying all these files one by one so for example index.js i make a copy same thing with package.json i didn't replace it so i'm just going to you know going to make a copy and paste it over there okay so now from the rust api what we created last time i'm just going to copy all the dependency all the packages and i'm going to append it here make sure not to replace it you don't want to lose your firebase npm packages there all right let me save this so all i did copy the content from the my rest api package.json packages and append it here inside the function uh, package.json file all right next thing i want to do here same thing with index.js so i'm going to copy entire content from uh, my my rest api and i'm going to append it because in index.js file i already am using so make sure that you include the firebase uh, npm package here firebase functions packages here and i i just like you know replace everything because everything else was comment anyway let me save this it looks good now uh, one thing i will need let me get rid of this code okay here now let's go pay attention to this i we don't want a port number here so i'm just going to comment it out what i'm going to do here i'm going to uh, include one line here so exports.app and I'm all I'm going to say this is the only line I'm adding exports.app equals to functions.https dot on request and app now this is the app which is our express uh, if you look at the code this app is the instance of the express express js library okay now go to the firebase.json file and here I'm going to include inside hosting I'm going to include rewrites source equals to star star so what this is going to do, whatever, uh, when you are accessing the Firebase URL is going to take that, you know, and route all the uh, Firebase routes to this app. All right, looks good now. Okay, now this is the only line uh, I've added into my Firebase host, uh, Firebase.json file and index.json file. It looks good now. Let me start Firebase emulator here. Okay, it's giving me some error because it cannot find the module.env. Okay, I think, I, I believe because I did not, first of all, I did not install all the packages. I included those uh, inside my functions package.json file, but I did not install it. So let me go install it, npm install. All right. Now let me try Firebase uh, emulator one more time. Okay. Hopefully this time it will compile. No, not so lucky. And the reason is cannot read properties of undefined reading split. Okay, because in my index.js file at one place, I'm using a function called a split. This, and actually I don't need this anyway. So I'm going to comment this out. Save. And let's uh, start our emulator one last time. Hopefully this will work this time. If there are no more errors. Okay, perfect. Looks, you know, it looks like it's working now. So now, cd into so because this is the firebase api i have already hosted now okay i know my url now i am going back to my front end with a visitor management app and i'm trying to connect to this firebase api so again if you want to know more details about this app please watch the video number one okay i'm going to start my visitor management this is an angular app and it's serving at localhost 4200 so all the code is out there and here one thing i do to change because in my angular code i want to call this rest api what i i have just hosted so here all i need to do replace all the url so earlier the url was like you know localhost uh, 5000 earlier it should it used to look like this localhost 5000 login all i'm going to do i'm going to replace this url with the new url firebase rest api what i've just hosted which is localhost 5000 followed by your project id us central app and then forward slash link okay i'm going to make this change to every other place where i'm calling this rest api let me execute this again and now if everything everything compiles well hopefully my code is going to work okay all right settings let me try to do this again login if i logs in successfully incorrect password okay if i if i logs in successfully that means it's able to connect to my firebase rest api Awesome. This looks pretty good. So this is how you. This is how easy it is to host your REST API to Firebase. 
All right, I believe that's all I wanted to share. The last thing is, is like once your Firebase API is running on your local machine, you, what you want to do here is Firebase deploy. So what it's going to do is going to take your application, the REST API, what you just tested, is going to deploy it over to the Firebase. Um, because I already have, I have a pay-as-you-go plan which has expired, so that's not it's not letting me do that. So if you you know try it out, if you have any question, any concern, please go to my GitHub repository, open an issue issue log, and I will be happy to help you out. Thank you.